Hello, everyone, and welcome to AI with Sohini, where we talk about everything and anything AI. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a very specific use case of computer vision and image automation, which is called OCR, or optical character recognition. So this is typically a use case whenever you take your camera, you point it at an object, and if the object has some text written on top of it, then the text automatically becomes you know, typed in front of you. So that is optical character recognition. When you take an image, you pass it through a system, and the system is automatically able to read the text from it, so that you can then use you know, natural language processing uh, techniques on top of that. So image in, text out, that is the setup we are you know, taking a look at. Now, typically, an OCR system works is as a two-step process. Now, first step is always to create a bounding box around the objects. And the second step is understanding what is the text inside it and creating the words around it. So we are going to be taking a look at an automated platform, which is called V7, and its capability of using an a pre-trained AI model in order to automatically extract text from images. And you will also be able to retrain or fine tune such a model in order to suit your particular use case. Now, OCR systems typically, they have two very strong requirements First, it should have a very high confidence of word detection. And second, ideally, you should be able to scan you know, text which is at an angle or you know, of multiple sizes and shapes and detect each and every one of them with as high confidence as possible. If this is of interest to you, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get straight to it. All right, so this is how V7 platform looks like. So the first step is we start creating a new data set. And in this case, uh, I am going to call this uh, Xscan OCR and say continue. Now click to browse. I've already, you know, subsetted a few images, some that don't have any text, some that have running hand text, and one actually has Spanish uh, in it. So uh, I'm going to upload all these images. And in this case, I'm going to say new class, new class, I'm going to say text detect. And I'm going to detect bounding box and text. And I'm going to say add class. And then save and continue. And in this case, I'm going to pick the basic template. And this is when what the workflow would look like. But now what we want to do is we want to add an AI based model that is going to detect, um, you know, the text automatically for us. So in order to do that, so what we are going to do, we're going to go back to the main page. And here we're going to click on models. And in models, you will see all of the existing AI models that are publicly available. So now what I'm going to do is going to go to text scanner and I'm going to say, you know, start. So now let's check the basic workflow and what it looks like. OK, and here you will see the basic workflow is just the data set goes to annotate to review to complete complete. But here we actually need to make a small change. So we are going to add an AI model and this AI model is going to be the text scanner. So we just say connect the model and here the images will actually go to this. And from here, we will actually go to, go to annotate. So the system is data set to the AI model, which is the text scanner. Then it goes to annotate. Then there's a review phase followed by the complete. So then we say save and apply. So when the image uh, you know, basically opens up, it looks like this. So what we are going to do is we are going to send it to the model. So it will say that the AI model is run. Um, for each and every one of the image, you will actually have to do that. So whenever we are you know, self annotating, we can just go and create a bounding box. And it will say text detect, and I hit save. And here, if I click on it, So that's how you detect it. And once this is done, you just say mark as complete. So same way it applies to the other images. If you see at any uh, at any you know bounding box, if you see you know the, the text is off, or for some reason it is not detected in the right way, you can actually you know select it. You can even delete it, or uh, and it's, it's going to get deleted from the layer. Or you can actually once it is deleted, you can actually uh, you know reselect the region and um, you know create the text as required. 
So this helps for very uh, accurate uh, OCR. And this way you can actually mark all of them as complete and then download them to your system with the text uh, you know, as accurate as possible. So this makes uh, OCR processing super easy.